Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we have a 2007 Mustang and the problem we have is that there's water leaking inside the passenger side of the car. Now most of the 2004 on up to 2012 are all the same type of problem and this repair will cost you nothing. Um, frustrating to find the problem and um, you know, you're thinking it's maybe the window, maybe some moldings around the, around the, the side window. Um, but in reality, what's happening is it fills up underneath here with, with water. When the water comes up to a certain height, the, uh, the air intake for the uh, air conditioning and the heater is right there. And there's a filter in front of that. The water builds up to a point where it gets up above that filter. Water then runs inside the passenger compartment of the car and you'll have a significant amount of water inside the, uh, the car. Left untreated, that, it, that water is going to actually cause a uh, uh, a moldy, mildew, a damp, wet smell, uh, not to mention it can cause a, a lot of electrical issues uh, with the ball motor uh, for air conditioning and for heat, and uh, it cause a whole, a whole slew of other electrical issues. Um, if you uh, follow my directions and, uh, and uh, uh, re replace or take that piece out, uh, or clean it or remove whatever you want to do, in this case I'm going to remove it because um, I can see if there's a lot of leaves and debris down the side there. It's just going to be an ongoing issue. So um, let me show you inside the car what it looks like, and uh, then we're going to get started, and we're going to get this uh, this job wrapped up, and we're going to have a, a very happy cu a customer because the uh, the water in the car uh, will get it cleaned out, and um, they'll be happy. Next time it rains hard, they're not going to have to deal with the uh, the flooding inside the car. Um, all right, let me show you inside the car what the issue uh, here is. And um, as you can see, there's a problem with, uh, with water getting into the car. Um, you can see there's a significant amount of water on the back seat area as well as up in the, uh, as well as up in the front. Right here you can see where there's a lot of water coming into the car. Uh, I'm going to show you a real simple way to correct this problem. It's actually, it is very common on uh, not just this Mustang but a lot of other cars too. So uh, let's get up in the front and I'm going to show you exactly what to do to uh, correct the problem. All right, what's happening is the, uh, the water is, is coming down the windshield. When it comes down the windshield, it's running down into this area over here where it's supposed to run. Um, the problem is, is that the water goes inside here. And if the water goes in here and the drip, uh, the, the vent on the bottom or the water piece on the bottom here where the water is supposed to come out of, if that's clogged up, the water can't get out. So uh, let me show you where that's located. It's actually down underneath the bottom, right over in here. But uh, well, the way we're going to access it is we're going to go underneath the hood and we're going to put the windshield wipers up on the window to the up position and then we're going to remove this piece right here. And the way you remove this piece is you take these screws out here. You unscrew this one and this one and it's just a Phillips head screw. So well, let me grab a screwdriver and show you what to do. Let me put the windshield wipers up first. Okay. What you're going to do basically is just unscrew the screw. Right here, it's a plastic screw, so you can't push down at the same time. You actually just have to unscrew the, uh, the screw the best you can. And when they're the plastic screws, sometimes they don't come out the best. So let me put this camera down and I'm going to show you how to do it. What you do is go underneath here with this small little screwdriver underneath the screw and you just turn it, it comes right out. You're going to save this because we're going to need that later. Pop this piece out right here. And now remember we have the windshield wipers in the up position right now. And we're going to do the same thing over here. You want this screw. They're only plastic screws so you can't push down on them. You just have to turn them slightly. And again, we're going to need to keep these because we have to reuse them. And then we're just going to take this piece off here. There's little clips that pop in like little snap pieces. You just snap it up and away. And these are the pieces here that snap in right up on the top of the window there. Now let me show you what the problem is, hopefully. Okay. The 
problem is right down here there's a piece right down there I don't know if you can see where that is but there's a little tiny vent right there that becomes clogged with debris like leaves and, uh, and any kind of uh, you can see there's quite a bit inside here you can see all of this stuff inside there so what we're going to do is we're actually because it is a common problem see all this debris in here all that debris is just going to wash down and go right into there like this and clog it up then what happens that's clogged up the water level inside here rises and when the water level rises right over here is your cabin filter and this filter filters the air before it goes into the passenger compartment. What happens is the water comes up to the point where it gets above that little opening there and the water runs inside the car. So we're just going to uh, remove that, uh, that uh, little flapper valve down there because the flapper valve is probably just old. And And then we're just going to take it out. And let me just show you a little bit of debris that's going to be in this, this valve. Here, look at this. Clog solid. It's hard to see, I know, but you can see where. Let me get a light over here so you can see. You can see how much debris is inside there. And the flapper valve doesn't open up anymore, so it won't let the, uh, the water run out quick enough. So we're just going to leave this out because uh, it's, it's all dried out and it's no good. So, All right. Now we're going to uh, put the car back together. And the way we do that is just going to reverse the procedure that we took it apart with. These pieces are just going to snap back into where they belong here. And uh, we'll wrap this job up. Put the corner in here first. Then so line up your two little pins, your three little pins in the back. And it snaps right in like that. And then what you do is you push these pins back inside here and you push the screw back down inside there. Same thing on this one here. Put it in like that and down. And you take your screw and you put your screw back inside there. So now the, uh, the water, when it does run down inside here, instead of uh, building up underneath there, it's going to wash out and it's going to come out. Um, it's real common. You park in a by any kind of leaves or any kind of uh, debris gets in there and it just rots away and it it's actually turns to like a dirt. So um, once the water now comes down here, it's going to flow right out the bottom where it's supposed to. I do want to point out that there is actually another flapper valve on this side over here, right down underneath the bottom on the, pass on the driver's side right up in here, which I also pulled out too. Um, that valve also was clogged solid with debris. So um, being that this is an ongoing problem, we're going to leave this out because uh, they must park on any trees or whatever to cause this to happen all the time. So, uh, you know, make sure you take out both the uh, passenger side as well as the driver's side and clean them all out and uh, you'll have a very happy customer and you would have resolved their, uh, their complaint. Or if it's your own car, you'll have uh, no more water inside your car, which is a good thing. All right, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.